Hey there, this is Markus from FWSIM. In this video we are going to explain how to put single shots on a tower in a 360 degree arrangement. You might want to use a circular set piece, also called a 360 degree head. Elevate it on a tower and then arrange your shots in a full circle. The first step is to create a new position and put it on a certain height. Next we are going to add a few single shots at various angles. You might want to configure a stepper. We will place one that goes from left to right. Here is one that goes from bottom to bottom, covering the full circle. The angle goes from minus 180 to plus 180 degrees. Finally, let's make a copy of our first stepper. We configured it to cover half a circle going over the top. How can we make it go over the bottom? The sliders only go from minus 180 to plus 180. But you can enter higher or lower numbers into the text box. So instead of minus 90 degrees, we let our stepper start at plus 270 degrees. Minus 90 and 270 both mean the same angle to the left. But by using 270, it will go around in the other direction. You might want to connect the shots on the 360 degree head to different modules depending on their angle. For example, for easier wiring, some people put 0 degree on one sled, 15 degree on the next sled and so on. In our example we will use the mongoose firing system, but you can use the same method with any other system. Let's create a simple stepper covering 0, 15, 30 and 45 degrees. For each one of these angles, we want to use a different pin range. In the sidebar, select your module. Configure it to be used for the 360 degree head position. At the very bottom you can set up rules for pin usage. After automatically assigning channels, we can see that the pins have been assigned depending on angle. Please keep in mind, if you use an angle that's not in the list, FWSIM will show an error message. And that's how you set up 360 degree heads.